Hey all, Russ here, RVA TV, welcome. Check it out! We're still in Globe, yay! We're gonna go to downtown, we're gonna go check out this old haunted courthouse, which is now a world-class uh, art studio, I guess. I'm also gonna meet my new friend named Nick. He owns a little woodworking place here, so uh, I spotted this earlier. I'm gonna park here in this free parking area. For the public. Let me get situated here and we'll go for a walk. This town is so cool. Man, I love it here. Alright, I see a sign out over there. Looks like he's open. Yeah, I guess uh, the Travel Channel, those ghost uh, shows, been here and been filming inside this building. Guess they've had luck finding some ghosts. All right, here we are, the Naughty Fox gift shop. Let's go meet Nick. Hey, right. Nick. How are you? Good, buddy. How are you? Good. Where am I? You're in Globe, Arizona at the Naughty Fox. Naughty Fox, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you do here? Um, well, we take old buildings and trees that have fallen in town, and we repurpose them into artwork. We sell other people's art, and we have candy in the back. <laughs> so this wood came from here locally, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. old buildings or trees, fence lines. Well, there. These are saguaro uh, spines out of the cactus. Make the walking sticks with. No kidding. We dig it all the way down to the beads. Something more for the high schoolers in town and the kids that come by, but they <laughs> like it. Well, we, we built this to uh, pay homage to a piece of artwork down here. If you want to take a look, sure. This was a gift to the town. Wow! Look at this. And this is the courthouse, the building we're in. This is an old building too, isn't it? Yep, from 1906, I believe. 1906. Mm -hmm. The building was on the show Ghost Adventures too. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's haunted. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> you ever run into any ghosts? Uh, there's been some weird things happening. <laughs> this, so? is, this is Rose Moffat's personal collection. She was the first female governor of the state. Is that right? Mm hmm. She got her, she's from the globe. She got her start here. How long ago was that? In this building. Um, I think she was a governor in the mid 80s, I, would, I think. Really? Mm hmm. I could be wrong on that, but it's right around there. And so all this is part of your store, too? Well, this is part of the art center. If you go up to the second floor, I'll take you up there in a second. Okay. It's a. Uh, they have world-renowned artists up there, some pretty cool stuff. Cool. The building is more, it's the center for the arts now. So we got like our store, the art museum upstairs, and then the third floor is the Players Club, and they do plays and nice. stuff like that. Cool. Yeah. 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 Rose is a rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> do you need to lock your door? Yeah, I'll do it when you're around. Yeah, we've been watching a show. We rock hound. I remember a few years back, we rock hound around Quartzite. Yeah. You know, and then here you are at Quartzite. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. He's going to the show. Some stickers for him. Heck yeah. Yeah, we watch the channel every day. <laughs> every day you post. Yeah. Here 
but yeah, the old original jail is the next building behind. I see this now, it said 1910 or something. Mm -hmm. And this was the courthouse, yeah. huh? 1908, 1906. Oh, six. Sorry. Well, here you go. So, yeah, this is. Gave me a heads up. <laughs> yeah, this is the original courthouse. <coughs> Look at all the artwork. Huh? Sell it? Mm hmm. It's all for sale. And then the first mom was up, it's very above us. And the next floor, when she got her started. You got the combination? Not too easy over. Look at that thing. That's part of the ghost, eh? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's just this piece of this, and I couldn't have seen this before. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I have to take that home. Yeah. <laughs> Radiator table. Wow. Boy, you'd have to have a couple beers and figure that one out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We need to see the... The big one in the back? Frog in the back. Yeah, I'll take it down for sure. <laughs> This stuff's done by one of our locals, Molly Cornwall. Cornwall? Uh huh. She a uh, local celebrity. <laughs> really? For her artwork? She has a lot to do with the filming. She brings the film crews here. We have ghost hunters here weekly, not month, you know. Um, big town for that. And I don't know if she was in a couple, at least one major movie. I'm not really sure. <laughs> you remember the movie, um, Oh, it's that old movie that was filmed here. Ah, oh, dang. I'll, I'll get it from him. But it's a movie that actually took place in Reno. It's one of the most famous films ever in like the 50s. Oh, yeah. It was filmed here. Wow. They like redid the whole downtown and the whole town's people come out. <laughs> cool. Some local quilters here. Quilts. What a life you guys have created here. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fun. I bet. Yeah. Were you doing woodworking back in Minnesota? No. I came down here. I uh, worked at a bar that I was moved around for a while. Um, yeah, like this guy. This is one of the standout pieces. <laughs> I feel a ton of heat. Oh, that. Yeah. Look at that. Can make some out of old refrigerators? Is that correct? Oh, I'm not sure. I think that's correct. Like old appliances or something like that. <laughs> Pretty creative. Yeah, this is a fire that came here last summer that was just about put in the hillside. When I drove in on that 79, mm -hmm. I think I drove past all that. Mm -hmm. That was a crazy time. Wow. That'd be my store down there in the corner. Uh-huh. Were they voting or something? Or? Look at the hat. Yeah. <laughs> All got the same straw hat. There's some kind of hat. Oh, there's a band playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Independence Day, July 4th. Oh, okay.
<laughs> Pretty wild. Yeah. Let's see if I can get the name of that movie. Okay. the bridge across here, right? Mm -hmm. And then I think the courthouse is over here. This is the courthouse. Basically, they made it into a community theater. Huh. We got the old cell balcony up here. <laughs> yeah. The other side is the two governors born here. First governor and first team. Yep. This is where all the ghosts hang out, eh? Right. Yeah. Oh, it's ghosts from the prisoners? Well, there's a couple stories about... Look at more detail if you watch the Ghost Adventures episode, I can send it to you. The sure. Um, about a guy whose daughters were killed. Uh-huh. The inmate was in the jail, and then the father was in this building in a window and shot him and killed him. <laughs> so, like, his ghost is here, and supposedly the two daughters as well. Wow. There's a bridge linking the two buildings called Bridge of Sides, and apparently somebody leaked off of it and died as well. Look at these round windows. This is insane. Yeah. You know, one of the old bars for the cover. <laughs> This is probably her office, the governor's. I, I think it was. And then, yeah, there's another one over here. Or, oh, well, county sorry. attorney. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe over here to the right. Wow. Yeah, yeah here's Rose right here. I wonder if her ghost was here. I think this is Hunt. That's a marvelous old building. Oh my goodness. Very smart to have TV come in and film it. Mm -hmm. They're starting to open up today, like, like more ghost hunting and stuff too. You know, just bring your rooms into it. This town has lost a lot of majestic buildings, so they know what it's like to really treasure this one. Yeah, well, I mean, look at the copper rail. Yeah. That's what we're known for is copper mining. Is it? They say about a third of the world's copper is right here in our mine. Is that right? Yeah. And there's even another floor that goes up to like the where they get ready for plays and stuff, and then here would be how they get on stage. But this would be how the where the judge would sit, you know, originally. Wow. You know, the judge would come out right here. Place. Absolutely amazing. I'm glad you could come see it. Well, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, look at this. This is pretty amazing on 1906. Yeah. Know? And it's haunted. People like haunted stuff. Yeah. Is 
Is there a name for the courthouse? There it is, the courthouse. Yeah, it's called the Kila Valley Center for the Arts now. It, yeah. So 1906, this thing's over 100 years. I'll go back down to the store. Kind of what they sell as a gift shop for the town here, other than ours. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> it's it's Hi, Dad. Come <laughs> on down the store. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're here for the steps. I guess. Boy, you don't want to <laughs> trip on these. I don't think OSHA was a thing in 1906. Yeah. In the building code. Well, can you imagine the amount of people that walked up this thing? Oh, I know, right? Yeah, that's just incredible. That's one of the new murals in town right there. They're starting to put a lot of murals in town and revamp. There's lots of stairs in town because the old miners used to walk. What's up with the stores with all the artifacts in them? That guy is... The guy that owns that building, he did a lot of uh, movie props. That's so everything. Those windows are like old movie props. Oh, okay. He's like the number one collector in the U.S. of so movie props. So that whole building's full of movie props. He's barely ever open, you know, to go see it, unfortunately. It's a beautiful building. Yeah, there's no sign when I walked past it earlier. I go, that one Richard that, Nixon's head was yeah, in there. <laughs> <right>. Yeah. <laughs> that, that big tall one that stands above these ones? Yeah. That brick one? That's the world's tallest three-story building. Huh. That one is an antique mall. That one should be open to go in. Okay. Just if you wanted to walk around. Sure. Um, and there's two more stores at the other end. There's the pickle barrel down here. A little coffee shop. Nice. They're definitely up and coming. Yeah. You know. Well, I hate, hope they keep this going forever. You know. It's been the center for the arts since like 1985. So they've been, and it's they're really starting to push it more. A lot more fundings come. And, <laughs> Are sandbags from the water? Yeah, from the floods after the fire. Oh, the town flooded? Yeah, well, luckily not so bad, but we were prepared <coughs> because of the fires. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, hi, I'm Nick, and this is Ashley. Hi. We're from the Naughty Fox in Globe, Arizona, at 101 North Broad Street, and that's Teddy. <laughs> Um, we're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday from noon to 6, and also the Art Center upstairs is open seven days a week from 9 to 4. Come see us anytime. We do local art made from wood, buildings, trees that have fallen in town. And okay. Do you have a website? Yep, thenaughtyfox.com. Okay. Thanks, Russ. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Now I'm haunted. <laughs> Whoa, what an absolute pleasure to meet those two nick and ashley if you're in globe stop come see these guys and check out this art center the art in there is just breathtaking look at the mural here i mean what a neat neat place well, i'll tell you what globe is definitely on my radar to come back to I'll have to say, I'm going to be honest about this, uh, I'm not very superstitious, but I'll tell you, when I was inside that building, it sure felt like someone was with you, <laughs> besides us. I don't know, especially when we were in that upstairs part, when he was talking about uh, how the ghost uh, came up to be through the sentencing of the 
inmates and the crimes and all that. Oh, man. <laughs> I am definitely going to check out that TV show, too. See what's up with that. Well, you could say too cool for school. I'd say too cool for the old courthouse. <laughs> Love it. All right, I didn't come down to this end of the old town. This is still old town, historic globe here. Old brick buildings. That's amazing they felt they turned the whole town into a movie set of Reno, Nevada. What do you call it? The Great White Hope? Something like that. Gonna have to look up that movie too. <laughs> Well, I must say, this has been one of the neatest stops I've had in a long time, and once again, I thank Nick for inviting me up here. Boy, did this work out great. All right, we're going to get back up here on Highway 60. As always, the journey never stops. The journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>